Welcome to a video explaining how to use the Google Forms tool. This was recorded in January 2014, which uh, is important because it may have changed depending on how long it's been since that date. Okay, uh, the first thing that you'll do is uh, I recommend that you use the Google uh, browser called Chrome. It uh, works a little bit better than some of the other browsers because, of course, Google maximizes its uh, tools to work with its browser better. So you might uh, use Internet Explorer, Safari, or uh, Firefox to download the Google Chrome browser from the Google site. And that can be found in a place like right up here. Uh, you just go ahead and install that. Um, it will work with other ones, so let's go ahead and just get started. Uh, when you go to google.com, you do have to sign into your account. It's easy to create an account if you don't have one, so let's go ahead and just click on sign in. And notice that the only difference is that now it knows that I'm up here. The next thing I'm going to do is go into Drive, the Google Drive. Drive allows me to create forms or any file that I may want to share to other people. So I can go right up here to create. And you can see I can create a folder to put things into, documents, presentation, spreadsheet, but form is what the uh, tool is that I'm talking about today. And think of form as just an online survey. So I go ahead and I click this in. And we'll just give this a title. Um, let's do uh, grumpiness uh, survey. And I'm just going to choose any one of these uh, that are here. I'll go ahead with Argyle. You can scroll through a wide variety of different uh, choices that are here. And then I just click on OK. All that does is just uh, show a background design. All right, if you're doing multiple pages, you could click on Show Progress Bar at the bottom of Form Pages. Uh, not necessary for a short uh, uh, survey like this one. And the question that I'm going to start off with here, chances are if I just want to get a group of people to submit information and I really don't care uh, whether or not they submit it or not and I don't want to track who they are, I'm not going to start out with a question of who are you or what is your name because if I want to get really honest answers, I'm going to put that in there. Now in some cases, if you're assessing student work, uh, then you definitely want to ask uh, what the student's name is. And what you might say is, what is your first name or what is your last name? Uh, because uh, you may want to have it sorted by last name later on or sorted by first name. But sometimes if you have uh, a Rob or a Robert or a Bob, they may put in several different answers. They may put it in first name, last name. So you have to do, do decide what you want to ask. So uh, let's go in and say, uh, all right, how was the uh, last dinner you ate? All right, now first off, I'm going to go to question type, multiple choice. Multiple choice is pretty good because that allows me to do a variety of things. I could also do a scale or a grid uh, for this same sort of thing, but a multiple choice might also allow me to put in uh, excellent. And then the next one would be good. And the next one would be fair. And the last one would be uh, tasted like mud. OK, so then I'm just going to go ahead and click on done. <coughs> All right. And if I'm ready to add another question, I go right here to add item. And I have all these different choices as to how I can actually ask different questions. And it may not be a bad idea to actually go and say, you know what, I kind of like the, uh, the scale here. And I'm going to just duplicate this question. So I'm just going to click on Duplicate and Duplicate again. Now notice that I do have to go in and uh, go in and edit. So how was, let's say, uh, the last class you took? 
and excellent, good, uh, not so good, and done. And then I can say, what was the last? Um, let's go in and click on edit here. And what was, how was the last car you drove? Excellent, good, uh, very bumpy and uncomfortable. And done. All right. There's a wide variety of different questions you can ask here. So let's go ahead and add a question. The nice thing about what I just showed you is a quick way to have the same scale show up and the same type of question show up. But if I want to ask a simple question like, what is your name? Text would be a good one. Now, if I want to choose paragraph text, this is good when you've got a long answer like, explain the meaning of life. That is a paragraph text, so look at here is a larger space for them to type in their answer. I'm going to go to done here. I'm going to add another question here. I can do check boxes. Or I can say, what are your favorite colors? And I can start here with red and blue. Yeah, red disappeared, and green, and yellow, you get the idea there. And then I'm finally going to click on Done. So now what I can do is actually check, check, check several of them at a time, and those are there to choose from. I can also choose from a list. So if I want to have uh, a drop-down menu, I could say, uh, what kind of car do you drive? And you can say um, VW, uh, uh, Chevy, Ford, uh, Chrysler, so forth, and done. Now be careful to always uh, press return on your last selection so that it stays there. If it's still blinking in there, it may not choose to add it into the option. And also, if I've got option in here, watch what happens. When I go to the drop down, it will actually show option in there. So you do have to be careful about that. Oh, what happened to our. There we are. Okay, so I'm going to go done. Uh, if you want to rearrange your questions, click and drag up. And so we've just moved a question around by simply clicking and moving it down just a little bit. So there are a lot of different ways to uh, add things. If you ever just want to add a video into it, you want to add an image in and say, what is this a picture of, you can. Wide variety of options for you for your survey. Um, but keep in mind, uh, you. Uh, don't want to have too many different types and you do want to make it easy for your participants to uh, respond and so it's important to have questions be similarly worded uh, have them placed next to each other if they are of a, sim a similar category uh, multiple choice or a, a rating scale you might actually ask what the date is uh, at the time that you did that um, but uh, let's go ahead and actually now that we're done with this, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you that I have these tabs up here at the top. Notice that this was where I was just a minute ago, and notice it's already created this file for me in Google Drive. Well, here's a different tab, the one that I've been working on. And if I want to uh, see how it's accepting responses, it is now accepting responses, and I can view the live form. Notice yet another tab over here showed up and I can click on resume collecting responses and yet another tab shows up over here. Uh, do you wish to continue? Yes. Alright, so it may not be a bad idea for me to close these down every so often. Here I'm back here at this. Um, if I view the live form 
this is the address that I can send out to people. So I can click on that. I can go up to edit and paste it, or I'm sorry, copy that first. So you can either on a PC go to Control C, or on a Mac go to Control uh, Command C, and now you could paste that into a URL and send it off to whoever you want to have take that. Now when you're done, you can go into the View Responses area, and let's just go ahead. I'm going to say excellent, excellent, excellent. Explain the meaning of life. Uh, don't know what kind of car do you drive, VW, uh, blue, and submit. Okay, so now I've just submitted that. Let's go in here and view the responses. Now notice responses now says one. That means that I my response is there. So I'm going to view the responses. Notice a new tab again shows up up here. This is uh, the responses, and you could actually watch these uh, roll in during a class if you wanted to send it out to students. Uh, but here are all the responses that are there, and you can use different uh, ways to count how many there are of each of these uh, responses rather than just doing it by hand. There's a count if feature that you could use if you wanted to. Uh, so in any case, this pretty much shows uh, the way to work within Google Forms. Uh, do keep in mind that there is the way of taking it. That's the URL that we created and copied and pasted. We'll close that. These are the responses. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then I can go ahead and close this. Interestingly, now it created this new untitled form that it was just created. I can go in here. And if I want to, just click right up here, and I can give this a better response. I can call this my grumpiness survey and OK. And uh, there we are. We've got these rolling in right now, ready for me to tally up. OK, so uh, thanks for your time. I hope this has been helpful.